Hello, hello, friends. How are you? Raquel from Infinite Succulents here to share about the energy of the upcoming new moon in Virgo. So if you've been feeling kind of inspired to just change things up, especially your daily routine, to try new things, to change things up, and yet you've also been feeling some old wounds come up and a lot of self-critical energy... Congratulations, you are totally feeling the energy of this Virgo new moon on September 14th around 6.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So this Virgo full new moon, excuse me, this Virgo new moon feels like quite a... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It feels like it's just a continuation and a continuing moving forward from the energy that we were experiencing with the Pisces full moon we had two weeks ago. And the energy that I really, the theme, the energetic theme that I really identified for that Pisces full moon was about allowing your transformation. It was about allowing things to start changing on the energetic level, opening yourself up to the change that's coming from your soul's desire as opposed to your mind's fear, right? That's the challenge, the discernment between those two, but really allowing and opening yourself up to the change that's really wanting to emerge for and from you right now. And as we move now into this Virgo new moon, we're still being urged and guided into this change, but now we're being asked to bring this change into the physical with that earthy energy of Virgo. So if the Pisces full moon was about allowing for the energy to change energetically, allowing for things to change energetically, now with the Virgo new moon, we're allowing things to change in a physical way. We're actually taking action on the change and the inspiration that first came to us with that Pisces full moon. So how do we go about actually acting on this change that's coming forward? Well, it helps to kind of understand Virgo energy itself because Virgo is a mutable earth sign, which means that Virgo is grounded, Virgo is practical, Virgo is meticulous, but Virgo is also adaptable and flowy and creative as well. And I think Virgos often get a bad rap for being like hypercritical and a perfectionist and just like... Yeah, that hypercriticism comes in a lot. You hear a lot about Virgo just being really kind of controlling and perfectionist and just very critical about things. And that is kind of the shadow aspect of Virgo energy. But what Virgo energy actually wants from us is for each of us to be functioning like the ecosystem in an efficient way that we truly are. Virgo wants us to be like Mother Earth herself, right? Mother Earth, when not disturbed by our our detrimental behaviors, Mother Earth exists in this harmony and balance where every organism has a role and a place and knows it and does it efficiently and with joy. And well, that's uh, my own bias. But you know, when we look at ecosystems that are functioning well, it's like this well oiled machine. Although I don't like using that. It's more like it's like a, well, it's an ecosystem where everything's in balance and it's supposed to be working well. And that's actually what Virgo wants from us. And it's why Virgo pushes us and has that meticulous energy is because it wants every bit of us to be functioning at its highest so that we can be in thriving. We can be thriving like a well-functioning, well-balanced ecosystem. That's the more light side of Virgo. But sometimes our brain can take that energy and turn it into nothing's good enough, right? We got to try and control everything because otherwise it'll never go the way I want it, right? And that control actually doesn't allow us to feel into the joy of the expansion that our soul is actually desiring. And it, the, the control actually brings us more into that fear of I have to change because I'm not good enough, which is what we're trying to move away from with this Virgo new moon. So... Knowing that, if you have been feeling a lot of kind of self-critical energies come up, please know, don't end there. Don't just end with that and be like, oh, that's the Virgo new moon. Be like, okay, well, what am I really wanting to know from this? What is my heart actually trying to tell me that my brain is currently misinterpreting? That's a great way to work with this energy if you feel that 
very critical energy coming up. And one thing that's really fascinating about this Virgo new moon, which is the theme that I identified, it has to do with the manifestation power of this new moon in particular. Now, every new moon is about manifesting. Um, new moons are about planting new seeds, setting intentions, starting fresh and new and you know, manifesting things, starting off in that manifestation process. And I think a lot of times when we talk about manifestation, especially in the society we're raised in, we end up talking about like the things we want. We want more money. We want more clients. We want more opportunities. We want more fun. We want more that car, that house, that person, right? Like more, more, more things. That's a lot of what we often think about when we're like manifesting in life. But what this Virgo new moon wants us to know is that the greatest manifestation we will ever create in our life, it's us. It's not about manifesting the things, the desired things. Those are byproducts of manifesting ourselves, who we truly are, the authenticity, the power, the magic, the godliness that exists in every single one of us. The knowing that we unto ourselves are an entire ecosystem, like that Virgo wants us to know. Like this new moon is about realizing that you, me, us, we are the greatest manifestations that we will ever create. And so when we're manifesting with this new moon, it's not so much about manifesting something. It's not about manifesting the money. It's not about manifesting the house or the car or the person or the opportunities. It's about manifesting your knowledge of yourself, of your power, of your magic, of your authenticity. That's what this Virgo new moon wants us to manifest our self-actualization, our self-development, our selfhood in particular. And just knowing that is really helpful to work with the energies of this particular new moon in Virgo. Now, a couple of things, especially if you're feeling like you want to change your routine a little bit, start different workouts, maybe try, uh, you know, a dance class as opposed to just walking every day. That's what I've been feeling. Actually, I'm like, I really want to join a dance class. <laughs> but that is very Virgo as well. Virgo rules the sixth house, which is all about our daily routines. Our health has a lot to do with our nervous system as well and being of service. And Mercury, um, which is currently in retrograde in Virgo, which is a beneficial place for Mercury to be because Mercury actually rules Virgo. So it likes being in Virgo. But anyway, with Mercury retrograde in Virgo, we are kind of having this realignment and this review of our daily practices and habits because we want to realign and refine things so that we're in our greatest expression, right? So this is a really great time to look at our routines, look at our habits, look at our patterns, decide what do we like, what do we want to keep, and what do we want to, you know, start new, start fresh, start with something new, try something new. Great, great time for trying something new. So sign up for that class, you know, sign up for that course, go on that trip, do the things, make the first steps, because we also have Mercury is actually going to be stationing direct the day after this new moon. So on the 15th, Mercury stations direct, which is also bringing us this really positive momentum energy. And this Virgo new moon has a lot of this momentum energy. Like if you take the first step, the universe will meet you and keep you taking those steps. With Mercury going direct right after this new moon, it keeps that momentum going. And then the planet Uranus, which is the planet of kind of progressive sometimes surprising change is also in um, close proximity and in harmony with the moon for this particular new moon, which is also inspiring and motivating that positive change and helping us move that momentum forward. So if you've been waiting for the time to start a new workout routine, start a new meditation practice, start a new anything, this is that time, my friends. This is that time. All right, I'm going to keep it short today because I got to run to another meeting. I hope this was helpful. If you want a full view of the energy forecast 
for this new moon in Virgo, please check out the moon blog. I will link it below. And always, if you like this content, please subscribe, like, save, and share, and comment for me what's coming up for you with this new moon in Virgo. What are you feeling inspired to take action on in terms of change and transformation for yourself? How are you learning to manifest yourself as your greatest creation. Share in the comments and we can learn from each other. Thanks friends. See you next time.